the World Wide Web, abbreviated as WWW or W3, and commonly known as the web. It is an information system where documents and other web resources are identified by uniform resource locator, which may be interlinked by hyperlinks and are accessible over the internet. World Wide Web, by name, the web, is the leading information retrieval service of the internet. The web gives users access to a vast array of documents that are connected to each other by means of hypertext or hypermedia links. For example, hyperlinks, electronic connections that link related pieces of information in order to allow a user easy access to them. Hypertext is text displayed on a computer or other electronic device with references or hyperlinks to other text that the reader can immediately access, usually by a mouse click or key press sequence. Hypertext allows the user to select a word a phrase from text and thereby access other documents that contain additional information pertaining to that word or phrase. So a hypertext document with its corresponding text and hyperlinks is written in hypertext markup language or HTML and is assigned an online address call a uniform resource locator. Hypermedia is used as a logical extension of the term hypertext in which graphics, audio, video, plain text and hyperlinks intertwine or interconnected to create a generally non-linear medium of information. The web operates within the internet's basic client-server format. Servers are computer programs that store and transmit documents to other computers on the network when asked to, while clients are programs that request documents from a server as the user asks for them. Browser software allows user to view the retrieved document. The development of the World Wide Web was begun in year 1989 by Tim Berners-Lee and his colleagues. They created a protocol which is a hypertext transfer protocol that standardized communication between servers and clients. Their text-based web browser was made available for general release in January 1992. Many people use the terms Internet and World Wide Web interchangeably. But in fact, the two terms are not synonymous. They are not the same. The Internet and the Web are two separate but related things. Internet is collections of networks that connects millions of businesses government agencies, educational institutions, and individuals using the TCPIP protocol. WWW is the means that we use to access information over the internet. So it uses different communication protocol. And it contains special link, which is a hyperlink that enable users to jump from one place to another on the web. The World Wide Web, or just simply the web, is a way of accessing information over the medium of the internet. It is an information sharing model that is built on top of the internet. The web uses the hypertext transfer protocol to transmit data. The web also utilizes browsers, for example, 
di Internet Explorer, Netscape, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, and other web browsers to access web documents which are called web pages that are linked to each other via hyperlinks. Let's take a look at the World Wide Web evolution. The World Wide Web is the primary tool used by billions of people to share, read and write information to interact with other people via internet. Web technology and the way it is used has certainly evolved over the last few years and each evolution has brought about new tools and techniques relevant to recruiters. These evolutions have popularly been called Web 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0 in the media. Web 1.0 as a web of cognition, Web 2.0 as a web of communication, Web 3.0 as a web of corporations and web 4.0 as web of integrations are introduced such as four generations of the web since the birth of the web so the first version of web which is the web 1.0 also referred as synthetic web or static web or read only web this is in the era of 1990 until year 2000 so this web 1.0 is where the role of a user is limited to reading information provided by the content producers so there is no option given for user or consumer to communicate back the information to the content producers so in other words the early web allowed us to search for information and read it so there was very little in the way of user interaction or content generation okay for example of web 1.0 are static websites and personal sites such as geocities and hotmail Web 2.0 is the term used to describe a variety of websites and applications that allow anyone to create and share online information or material they have created. So Web 2.0 is in the era year 2000 until 2010 and continues until today. So it refers to to World Wide Web website which highlight user-generated content, usability and interoperability for end users. Web 2.0 is also referred as social web or read-write web which facilitate interaction between web users and site. In this era, every user can contribute content and interact with other web users where content is distributed and shared between sites. So people are consuming as well as contributing information through blogs, wikis or sites like Facebook, YouTube, Flickr or Twitter. Web 3.0 is the third generation of internet services for websites and applications that will focus on using a machine-based understanding of data to provide a data-driven and semantic web. The ultimate goal of Web 3.0 is to create more intelligent, connected and open website. So the Web 3.0 also referred as semantic web or read, write, execute in the era 2010 and above that refer to the future of web. In this era, computers can interpret information like humans, 
via artificial intelligence and machine learning. It helps intelligently generate and distribute useful content and tailored to a particular need of user. There are five main features in Web 3.0, which are semantic web, artificial intelligence, 3D graphics, connectivity, and ubiquity. So the semantic web improves web technologies in order to generate, share, and connect content through search and analysis based on the ability to understand the meaning of words rather than on keywords or numbers. Artificial intelligence in Web 3.0 make computers can understand information like humans in order to provide faster and more relevant results. 3D graphics is being used extensively in websites and services in Web 3.0 such as in computer games and e-commerce. Semantic metadata in Web 3.0 make information more connected and the ubiquity is where the content is accessible by multiple applications where every device is connected to the web, the services can be used everywhere. Some of the examples of Web 3.0 are like Apple Series okay, or Google Cloud. Okay, for Web 4.0, which is still an underground idea and in progress. Okay, although there is no exact idea about Web 4.0 and its technology, but it is obvious that the web is moving toward using artificial intelligence to become as an intelligent web. So Web 4.0 will be the read-write execution concurrency web which is hopefully to achieve a critical mass of participation in online networks that deliver global transparency, governance, distribution, participation, collaboration into key communities such as industry, political, social, and other communities. In this table, you can see the differences between Web 1.0 Web 2.0 and Web 3.0. Okay, so for Web 1.0, which is most read only doc web, and Web 2.0 is read write web, and Web 3.0, which is portable and personal. Okay, you can see the comparison between this Web 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0 altogether. So there are a few common terms related to World Wide Web. Okay, so what is a web page? So web page is a document or resource of information that is suitable for the World Wide Web. Okay, also need to know about website or any individuals or groups or organizational website which normally used to inform, to advertise to market product and services. So, what is a home page or the main page that introduces a website? How about the web browsers, which are the application software that enable users to navigate the web? Web search engine, which is a searching facility designed to search for information on the web. All these terms will be discuss further in the next few slides. Okay, web publishing, which is a software to help user to develop web page, to edit and to publish to the internet or to the extranet. Hypertext transport protocol, okay, which is a protocol used to navigate websites on the internet. Hyperlinks, or ways to connect and navigate between pages in website. And the webmasters. Okay, who are the webmasters? So this is who is in charge of maintenance of the website.
So a web page is a hypertext document or resource of information that is suitable for the World Wide Web provided by a website and can be accessed through a web browser and displayed to a user on a monitor or on a mobile device. So a website typically consists of many web pages linked together in an organized fashion. So a web page is a simple document displayable by a browser. So such documents are written in the hypertext markup language or extensible hypertext markup language format and may provide navigation to other web pages via hypertext links. So it may contain text, graphics, audio, video, and also has some built-in connections or links to other web documents. A web page, a web page can embed a variety of different types of resources such as style information. Okay, for example, controlling a page look and feel, the scripts which add interactivity to the page, and media, for example, images, sounds, and videos. So all web pages available on the web are reachable through a unique address called a uniform resource locator. So in order to access a page, we just type the URL address in the browser address bar. So a web page can contain numerous types of information which is able to be seen, heard, or interact by the end users. Okay, we can divide the types of information into two, where it is a perceived information or rendered, which we can see or we can hear. Okay. And another one is the internal information, which is usually we cannot see or we cannot here okay so for the perceived information where we can see is something like the textual information okay text okay or the non-textual information or for example non-textual information like images static images on raster graphic for example like gif j i f okay or jpeg or jpeg is a joint photographic expert group or it can be a png image portable network graphic image or a vector format such as the SVG scalable vector graphics or flash. Okay. And in addition, other than this non textual information, it can also be the animated image. Okay. For example, like animated GIF and SVG, or can be shockwave or Java applet. Okay. Non textual information can be audio or the sound. Okay. For example, like musical instrument digital interface or wave formats or can be Java applet as well. And another types of non-textual information is video. For example, the types of video provided inside the web page is like Windows movie, real media, flash video, motion picture, Aspen group, MPEG or movie quick time so another information that can be seen okay or can be heard is interactive information which is more complex usually this information is glued to the interface is near to the interface for example like interactive text 
interactive illustration for example we click to play click to continue okay usually this one we use the script okay or we use the buttons okay next button okay forward button okay so this is a form providing the alternative interference or the interactive information between pages okay hyperlinks or form as well okay that provide more interaction with the server and server side database and another types of information okay is the hidden information or the internal information for example like comments okay the link files through hyperlinks like documents excel file sls pdf files so this one usually we cannot see through the web pages usually it is hidden it is internal okay other internal information like metadata okay data about data okay for example like character set information document type information okay style information okay for example like cascading style sheet okay script usually we cannot see script okay but we can see that there is a moving image there is a moving text so usually javascript cannot be seeing the code okay so these are the two types of information in the elements of web page so what is a website actually okay so a website is a set of related collections of web pages that contain content or media so this one include text video music audio images and other resources located under a single domain name typically produced by a single person or an organization so the website can be created and maintained by an individual group business or organization to serve a variety of purposes website is hosted on at least one web server accessible via a network such as the internet or a private local area network through an internet address known as a uniform resource locator so all publicly accessible website collectively constitute the world wide web so the visitors to a website access and view web pages using software program called a web browser so there are several types of website known as portal news informational educational business or marketing entertainment blog wiki personal and social network so a web portal is specially designed website that brings information from different sources for example like emails online forums search engine into a single user interface and present users with the most relevant information for their context usually each information source gets its dedicated area on the page for displaying information often the user can configure which one to display okay uh, the nearest example of the web portal is our uum online learning portal website news websites are sites devoted to delivering the news in different format than television print or radio news site include sites that have a large variety of information which may not be considered news but by all audience but may include entertainment games news that may not be current but is interesting or other miscellaneous information 
For example, this type of website is like msn.com. Another type of news site is the site that is completely devoted to news. This site may include all types of news like political, judicial, entertainment, sports or more. An example of this type of site is cnn.com, bitaharian.com, okay, hmetro.com. And also there are many news sites devoted to one particular type of news or certain activity. For instance, there may be a website completely to one sport or to a certain hobby. An informational website is a site with a purpose to provide detailed information about a specific topic such as science, economics, movies and etc. These websites are created in order to provide a customized and branded resource for potential and active customers, members and investors. So information websites are used to present factual information such as to let people know about location, product, item, idea or individual. A business website generally serves as a space to provide general information about the brand or a company on the internet or direct platform for e-commerce. So the most common purpose of a business website is to make money and often used as the landing page for advertising content. This is more commonly known as e-commerce website. An entertainment website is a website that focuses on creating high quality content that is entertaining for the target audience. This website showcases entertaining information for visitors such as online magazine, gossip oriented website, celebrity news, sports coverage, movies, films, arts, and also the humorous website. A personal website, which is a website that contains a group of web pages that someone creates about themselves. These web pages created by an individual to contain content of a personal nature rather than content pertaining to a company organizations or institution so for blogs wikis and social network will be explained in the next few slides so what is a home page <coughs> home page is the main page of a website Home page or index page is a main page or first page view that the link or site takes to internet users after they type the personal or organization internet address. And it most often refer to the initial or main web page of a website, sometimes called the front page or the start page. The word home comes from the use of the home key on a keyboard to return to the start page at any time. The web page or local file that automatically loads when a web browser starts or when the browser's home button is pressed. The example that user type URL address, for example, www.uum.edu.my and from this home page, users can explore other web pages through hyperlinks or hypermedia. Okay, let's see. We go to the home page of UUM. www. 
um um dot edu dot my okay and actually okay now we are inside the um websites okay from this home page okay when we type the address in the url inside the address bar so it will go to the home page of the um so this is a website okay this is the locations or the server that contains the web pages document so these are the web page for the home page from this home page we can go to the other web pages for example we can go to the academic web pages okay so you can see in academics web pages we can see a different types of file web pages over here academics.html for admission there is another page for admissions for campus life there is another uh, web page okay about us there is another web page okay quick links okay so there are several other web pages that also inside over here for example if we want to go to look for the uum expert so this link these hyperlinks can also be linked to the other web pages inside this website okay for example this one main contact so the main contact is inside this website as well okay so it's still inside uum.edu.my okay or if we want to go to the other website it can also be hyperlinks to the other website okay an example like this one the expert uum expert it will link to the external because this is called the external link or it will link to the outside website okay not uum this is the experts.uum.edu.my so this website and this website is totally different this is uum.edu.my and this is the website of expert.uum.edu.my okay so this is the example okay the um homepage so what is the url uniform resource locator so a url is an address of a given unique resource on the web it is a web page unique address so url incorporates the domain name along with other detailed information to create a complete address or web address to direct a browser to a specific page online called a web page so it is composed of several parts that help identify the web document so the first part indicated the protocol so the protocol is a set of rules used to retrieve the specified document so the protocol is generally followed by a colon two forward slashes then the domain name or also known as a host name and sometimes the path the directory to a specific web page or location in a web page and finally the web page name okay or the file name so the most important is it is a set of directions and every web page has a unique one okay we can see in this example okay the first part is a protocol okay http okay over here is http and then followed by colon two forward slashes and then they have the domain name www.nytimes.com okay or www.us-parks.com so .com is the top level domain okay this is from the previous slide what is the com stand for this is used for commercial only and then after that it's followed by path or the subdirectory okay forward pages and then forward cartoons forward slash 
cartoons okay and similarly like this one so the first part of the URL is a protocol. In this example, HTTP, okay, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. So Hypertext Transfer Protocol is the communication protocol used to connect to web servers on the internet. Okay. So some other protocols that can be used here. Okay, can be used here okay, or here. Okay, other than HTTP, we can use FTP. We can use NNTP. We can use other protocol SMTP. Okay, so those only for protocols. So after the protocol, generally there is a colon. Okay, and then two forward slashes and the domain name or host name. So a domain name is the website name or the address where internet users can access the website. So a domain name, as being discussed before, is associated with physical IP address and used for finding and identifying computers on the internet. In this example, okay, the domain name is www.us-parks.com. And sometimes inside the domain, it contains the path to a specific location. So this is the path, Grand Canyon National Park. Okay. And the web page name or the file name for the web page is the scenicvistas.html. For this example, there is no file name or web page name. Okay. Actually, at the end over here, there is a file namely index okay index either index.html okay index.jsp index.cgi or index.php so usually when by default if we don't put the file name then it will look for the index file 